morning, everyone. Thank you for your patience and welcome. I am Marge Colapietro, mayor of the wonderful city of Millbrae. It is a pleasure to have you with us today to celebrate the completion of the biggest project our city has ever undertaken, the renovation of our aging water pollution control plant. I'd like to begin by introducing the dignitaries who have joined us today. U.S. Congresswoman Jackie Speer. California State Senator Leland Yee. Millbrae City Council members, Vice Mayor Gina Pappen is not able to join us, Councilwoman Nadia Holliber, Councilman Wayne Lee, Councilmember Robert Gottschalk. I'd also like to take a moment to introduce Marcia Raines, who is our city manager. Mr. Ron Pope, who is our director of public works. Ed Barberini, our chief of police of the San Mateo County Sheriff's Office Millbrae Bureau. And if I've missed anyone, please raise your hand so I can see you. I think I got everybody who's currently here. And I want to introduce also Dennis and Marciana O'Halloran. And the reason I'm doing that is because a couple of months ago, uh, several of the uh, organizations in our community got together to have a fundraiser to complete the Millbrae Community Youth Center and there was a silent auction and one part of the uh, item that the mayor that I donated was inclusive of the ceremonies and a tour of our completed water pollution plant so Dennis and Marciana were the highest bidders and I just wanted to welcome them as well. <clears throat> Three years ago, we were faced with a water treatment plant that was more than half a century old. Many of the parts were breaking down and in need of replacement. In fact, Many parts were so old that the companies which made them were out of business. So replacement parts were not even available. Further, we were faced with increasingly stringent water quality requirements for the water we discharged to the bay. Clearly, a world-class city like ours, with more than 21,000 residents to serve, and a commitment to sustainability could not continue like this indefinitely. What stands before you now is the culmination of more than 10 years of planning and hard work by dozens of people with support from the larger community, the federal and state governments. This has truly been a team effort and blending of wonderful partnerships. It is thanks to all of them, including many of you, that we are at this point in time and positioned in this place. As you can imagine, this renovation project was not an easy task. The work consisted of three major parts, building a new 1.2 million gallon flow equalization tank completing a new operation center, and refurbishing outdated processing equipment within the existing plant. This work all needed to be done on a very small site without taking the treatment plant offline. This means even while we were refurbishing the plant, the plant still needed to keep working 24-7. I would like to acknowledge and thank our contractor, West Bay Builders, our construction manager, URS, our designer, Kennedy Jenks Consultants, and our city staff 
including City Manager Marsha Raines, Public Works Director Ron Pope, and Plant Superintendent Joe Magner, and all of our employee teams for what they have accomplished. In particular, I would like to recognize the dedicated and skilled work of Key Lim, our city engin engineer, and this project's leader for guiding this project from beginning to its recent completion. All of these men and women deserve recognition for enabling us to continue operating the plant and meeting strict environmental discharge requirements while the renovation was taking place. We honor all of you. It is important to note that since the beginning of the project in November 2009, a total of 367 full-time employees worked on the project. They were all paid at prevailing wages as required. The first major undertaking of this project was completing the 1.2 million gallon flow equalization tank, including the headworks which are the pumps, grinders, and screens that initially process the incoming wastewater. The flow equalization tank, which is located below ground, has many benefits. First and foremost, the tank retains extra water that flows into the treatment plant during storms, helping to minimize sanitary sewer overflows that can occur during stormy weather. The federal and state governments are increasing the amount and frequency of fines for any overflows. The new tank also makes the plant process more efficient by enabling us to, conflow, to control the flow rate throughout the day. The plant will also be easier to maintain because the new tank enables us to take plant processes offline temporarily when we need to do prevented maintenance on the equipment. The second major project component is our new two-story operations center, which houses public works staff and the plant's new laboratory. This part of the project was completed in June of last year and many of you were here when we held our grand opening to celebrate the achievement of that milestone. Our new operations center enabled us to consolidate our corporation yard maintenance and water pollution control plant staff under one roof and do away with our former substandard buildings and trailers. The new facility is also energy efficient with a high efficiency heating and air conditioning system that qualified us for some PG&E rebates. Importantly, the new operations center enabled us to install a cutting edge monitoring system to monitor wastewater processing around the clock. The system is called SCADA, or Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition System. This technology makes it possible for us to use a laptop computer to remotely detect problems, respond to alarms, and take corrective actions. Our old operations center did not have this technology. The final and all important part of the project, refurbishing the outdated processing equipment within the existing plant, was completed last month. Among other things, this involved updating our primary sedimentation tanks, rebuilding our aeration basins with brand new sedimentation tanks that has higher efficiency blowers and piping, rehabilitating our clarifiers, completely restructing our effluent pump station with new pumps and piping, and created a new thickener building and control house, all of which improved our wastewater treatment efficiency. I am happy to say that all of this work and investment 
is already paying off. The affluent water coming out of the final treatment process has never been cleaner. One of the key sampling tests we conduct daily on our affluent is to check for total suspended solids, also called TSS, a measure of the particulate material in the water. Per our National Pollutant Discharge Elimination Permit, our maximum allow allowable TSS level is 30 milligrams per liter. We currently are averaging five or six less per day. Last year's average was 21 milligrams per liter. This is a good initial indication that we should be able to produce much cleaner water through our treatment process over the next 50 to 100 years. As I mentioned earlier, this project would have not been possible without the broad support and assistance we have said many times over during the past three years, thank you to the Milbray ratepayers who approved rate increases to fund this critically important renovation. Thank you to the California Water Resources Control Board that provided approximately $30 million in financial assistance backed by federal stimulus money that was made available by the American Recovery and Inve Reinvestment Act that was, of course, supported by Congresswoman Jackie Speer and our federal senators, Dianne Feinstein and Barbara Boxer. Through their contributions, we were able to secure a very low interest rate, saving the city more than $10 million over the life of the 20-year loan. We are very grateful to the State Water Board and the U.S. EPA for this financial assistance. I am extremely proud to be part of a city that has a reputation for innovation and leading edge practices. Now, even our water treatment plant is a symbol of that cutting edge leadership. Our new state-of-the-art, highly efficient treatment plant will protect our bay water and continue to serve us, our children, and our grandchildren for decades to come. At this time, I invite Joshua Quigley from U.S. Senator Barbara Boxer's office to come forward to present a letter. Welcome, Joshua. Well, thank you, Mayor, and thank you, everyone here in attendance. Um, it is an honor to be here today on behalf of Senator Barbara Boxer to see the completion of this great project, uh, which, as the Mayor uh, indicated, was supported by the Stimulus Act. Senator Boxer was not able to be here today, but she did ask me to come and deliver a brief message, and I'll do that now. Dear friends, I send my warmest greetings as you gather to celebrate the completion of renovations for the Milbray Water Pollution Control Plant. Although I cannot be with you, you have my best wishes for a memorable event. This $28 million project, which was supported by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, will provide the residents of Milbray with a, wa a modern water treatment facility and will ensure that the city maintains its commitment to minimize water pollution for decades to come. The completion of this project is evidence of the su successful investments made by the Recovery Act in providing necessary local infrastructure improvements while also supporting much needed construction and related jobs for residents throughout the area. I commend the mayor, council, city staff, and residents of Millbrae for the su successful completion of this project. Congratulations. Sincerely, Barbara Boxer, United States Senator. I was first elected to the Millbrae City Council in 2007. Shortly after that, our previous city manager requested we each select one of our legislators to lobby for grant funds. I selected Congresswoman Jackie Speer. Great timing, the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act and federal stimulus money. What a find for this project. Thank you also to Brian Perkins for assisting us then and continuing to assist us every time I pick up the phone and say, Brian, is there any money for us? So thank you, Brian. It is my 
honor and my pleasure to invite U.S. Congresswoman Jackie Speer to come forward and speak. Well, the first thing I want to know, Marge, is where you got your civil engineering degree. Uh, <laughs> that was quite an education for all of us. I want to thank you, Mayor Colaprieto, for um, giving us the opportunity this morning to celebrate yet another project of the Stimulus Act. I must tell you, it's been quite a long time since I've been at a ribbon cutting ceremony for a sewage treatment center, and uh, it may be a long time before I'm at another one, but uh, I'm delighted to be here today and glad that this project has come in uh, to being with the help of the Stimulus Act because a lot of us have gotten a lot of heat about supporting that particular act. Uh, it actually created a job for a, a newly graduated civil engineer, as I understand, from the contractor. Uh, we also are standing or sitting very close to another stimulus project, and that was the repaving of the airport runways um, just last year. So for those that somehow claimed the stimulus would not uh, do its job, I think Millbrae residents can be proud of the fact that they are paying $10 million less because the stimulus was there and created this 1% loan opportunity. Uh, I also think that we are very fortunate to have this project because it's going to prevent many of the overflow events that happen in these 100-year storms that we seem to be having every few months now. So um, that's going to be very helpful to the city and probably to the uh, city council and the city attorney because, as we all know, lawsuits proliferate um, after those storms occur and there is overflow into the bay. This sewage treatment center is actually the very first uh, that will be recycling and it's doing so in a manner that is very important for our environmental protection and our health protection as well. And I guess what's really critical here is the fact that this new operation center will withstand an earthquake, which we couldn't say about the last one. Imagine um, if there was an earthquake in the old facility and it was not functioning um, imagine all of the residents of Millbrae in porta potties. Not a pretty sight. So uh, this will prevent that from happening as well. So um, is a project that's built to last, and uh, that's precisely what government's all about: making sure that we're improving on what we have done before. So congratulations to the members of the city council, uh, to Mayor Colo Prietro, uh, to your city manager, your director of public works, your city attorney, um, and congratulations on getting this done in such an expeditious fashion. Uh, I too don't have a letter, but from the House of Representatives, we have a certificate recognizing the completion of this project. Congratulations to all of you. Another dedicated and treasured legislator who works hard, seeks our opinions on issues, and keeps Milbray issues before him is California State Senator Leland Yee. I invite Senator Yee to please come forward. Thank you very much, uh, Marge. Um, I, um, I'm not going to get into the details of the project. I think Congresswoman uh, Spear uh, really provided a good uh, summary of it. Marge did the same. But I want to kind of talk a little bit about how this project kind of came to be. Uh, I was selected to the Senate, and all of a sudden uh, I then became uh, rather familiar with a number of the cities in this particular area. And as you can imagine, uh, different departments come and start talking to you about some of the issues that uh, I need to kind of be aware of. By then, I had known Marge and I had known how strident she is in terms of supporting and uh, being a champion of uh, Millbrae. And so they said, Senator, you know, there's a major issue uh, in some of the cities in Millbrae. 
or in the county, and one of them has to be uh, happens to be a mill break. And I said, well, what is, what you know, what's the problem? He says, well, they they've got a lot of discharge into the bay, and it creates a lot of problems. Uh, there are a number of regulatory, state regulatory agencies that are very, very concerned about. And immediately I said, you know, let, let's work with them. Because if we do harm to Millbrae, I'm going to catch the heat. Because March is not going to allow anybody to do any harm to Millbrae. And so when there were lawsuits and there were complaints and there were talk about fines, I said, look, at the end of the day, if we don't somehow help Millbrae, then they're going to come after me, and that's something I don't want as a freshly minted senator in this particular area. And it is that kind of, I think, cooperation for all of us, uh, working at the local level, at the state level, at the federal level, that we're able to get this particular project. At the end of the day, when we work together, rather than fight among each other, we get a lot better product. And out of that, a much better environment for all of us. And so I'm just really, really proud that uh, finally we have this particular plan, but more importantly, the way in which we came about doing it. Uh, just talking and dealing with all the different issues in a collaborative way, we're able to now get this plan, and I'm just really, really happy. Um, I didn't know that uh, uh, with that first uh, uh, briefing from the state, that I would face uh, March as the mayor. I'm, I'm glad uh, I did that because I wouldn't want her to be mayor and then find that uh, the state has been uh, hard on uh, helping and supporting them. So on behalf of the California State Senate, let me present this certificate in honor of this uh, particular plant, but more importantly, March, just you know your steadfast, uh, steadfastness in supporting Milbrae and doing everything you can to protect it and take care of it. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very much, Senator Yee. Assembly member Jerry Hill is another appreciated legis legislator who told me the other day in response to an email I sent him that he promises to continue to keep the Millbrae to keep the people of Millbrae and concerns of Millbrae in mind when he moves to the Senate in a few weeks. I invite Mark Hirschman, District Director for Assembly Member Jerry Hill, to come forward and make a presentation. And for you, those of you who may not know, Mark is also a former member of the City of Millbrae. Thank you, Mayor Cole Pietro. I'm delighted to be here. I'm delighted to be here uh, this morning on behalf of Assemblymember Jerry Hill. Uh, having uh, some uh, familiarity with this project over the, the 10 years or so described by the mayor, um, I have to say I really love what you've done with the neighborhood. This is a, a terrific improvement. This will benefit the, uh, the city, the ratepayers, and our environment. And so it's uh, my delight to present on behalf of Assemblymember Hill uh, this assembly resolution uh, recognizing the city and the rate players for uh, this wonderful accomplishment. Congratulations. Countywide, we have five hardworking members of the San Mateo County Board of Supervisors. Supervisor David Pine is, of District 1 is not able to be here today, but I understand he has sent one of his representatives, Jason. Where is Jason? Okay, um, Jason is not here right now. Um, all right, so um, I would also like to introduce our city attorney, Joan Kassman. Joan is in the back. Good morning, Joan. Thank you for your diligence and watching out for us legally. And yes, we did need that when baby keepers came after us, so all right. At this time, we will be dedicating a city plaque which honors this event. I invite Millbrae Council members, plus Martin Farlowski of URS Corporation, John Wyckoff of Kennedy Jenks Consultants, and Paul Thompson of West Bay Builders to come forward for the dedication of a city plaque 
and to assist with the ribbon cutting. Please come forward. And before I do the unveiling, it says that we dedicate a plaque. So I'd like to say we dedicate this completed project to the community of Millbrae, to each and every agency and partner who helped bring the water pollution control pro plant renovation project to fruition. Thank you, one and all. So now we'll move forward with a ribbon cutting. At this time, I'd like to invite Congresswoman Speer, Senator Leland G. to join us. And um, where is uh, Joshua? And of course, from Jerry Hill, Assembly Member Jerry Hill's office, Mark Hirschman. Sorry, Mark. There you go. I want to acknowledge the men and women who are here, who are always silent at these types of things, who are the members of our city's public works staff, and they're in the blue shirts and some are in other colored shirts, but an administrative people. So we thank you very, very much, and thank you for being here. <laughs> 